we will be reviewing the Transformers Rise of the Beast Jungle Mission Pack Deluxe Cheetor. Okay, so here we have the Transformers Rise of the Beast Jungle Mission Deluxe Cheetor. And this figure actually was the first figure we saw of Cheetor that had leaked months ago. And we saw this bad boy before we ever saw the Studio Series figure. Now, the Studio Series figure is a very different figure as far as design. Obviously, the, the Studio Series figure is going to be the one that they're using in the movie. This one, I'm guessing this is ha this has to do like on concept art because the other one really doesn't bear any type of resemblance to Cheetor unless you think of uh, Beast Machines because I think he kind of looks like the Beast Machine the Beast Machines Cheetor. This Cheetor. Seems to be more of a, a homage, homage, or whatever you say, more of a tribute uh, to the classic Cheetor from back in the day, from the original show. He is pretty much a retool of the Kingdom Cheetor, which I'll, I'll bring in a little bit later for some comparisons. But he's pretty much just a retool of that Cheetor. But um, I guess we'll get started with uh, articulation. So our articulation is very good for this deluxe figure. You can look up. Do full 360, because he's on that ball joint. The arms. can do full 360 and then shoulder will go up that much um, full 360 at the bicep here then at the elbow man my copy is really tight ball joint here ball joint at the wrists Oh, the ball joint. Yes, you can do full 360. You know, it's not really supposed to be doing that. And you could angle it like that, but it's more because of the transformation sequence. Waist can move like that. Doesn't really do a full 360, but that's much as it could go there's no real ab crunch your legs could kick this far up and then this is in the way so he can't really kick that far back he can do a split like that he cannot get the full van damme split 360 at the knee. But that's more because of the transformation. And the knee could bend like that. And then the ankle can move like that. And it can move like that. So as far as articulation and posing power, he's pretty good. He's pretty nifty. For accessories, he comes with the dreaded tail weapon. I hated this on the Kingdom Cheetor. And I hated it like on the Cheetor clones and I hated it on Tigertron, Mutant Tigertron, etc. You know what I mean? All those molds. 
But here it's a little bit better because at least this actually looks like a weapon. See that detailing there? It actually looks like a spike. You know what I mean? So I could kind of forgive it. I still think it sucks. And then they actually gave us a gut gun. Like I said, the only thing lacking here with the weapons is the same story with the figure itself. Is they could use more paint. But these are the accessories that he comes with. Okay, so here we have him in his beast mode. His cheetah mode. And it's a good looking cheetah. I, th I think this looks a lot better in Chino mode than the Studio Series 1. Studio Series 1, I don't know. It looked kind of off to me. But this looks like a cheetah. This is a cheetah. There's no mistaking that at all. Oh, for articulation, of course, you have the legs here that are move up like that. Because they're on a ball joint. Make them kick out like that. Because you know, flying pose. Bend right there. Doesn't bend right here. Mouth does open and close. No articulation in the neck of the cat. No articulation over here. And the legs move pretty much exactly like the kingdom one. And there's no articulation in the tail. But yeah, this is this is basically just this is basically just an updated version of the kingdom mold just needs paint honestly you add some paint here and there this will be beautiful and the gut gun in case you're wondering where that stores that stores right here there's a peg right there and you peg it right in there. Of course you fold it up and you put it right in there and you clip these two bad boys back in place. And that's where you store the gut gun. Okay, so here we have, here we have them with the vintage reissue. Of Cheetor. Here we have him with the Kingdom Cheetor. And he's just an updated version of him. In a lot of ways, he's a lot better. In a lot of ways, he's a lot worse. And what I mean by a lot worse is the kingdom version did a lot better about hiding the arms here they're just hanging off the bottom um the articulation on the kingdom version is better because the paws do have articulation on the bar on these feet and the front feet And then this Cheetor is the Battlemaster's Cheetor. And this guy turns into a weapon. So he's like a little, he's a, he's a Battlemaster. You know what a Battlemaster is from the Siege days. He turns into a gun or a spear or something like that. A laser rifle or whatever. But the package said Cheetor on this little guy. So, that gives you an idea, you know, 
He's a deluxe. Obviously, he is the same size as the Kingdom Cheetor. He is not as big as the Voyager Studio Series uh, Cheetor. Okay, so here we have him in his robot mode with the other Cheetors. And yes, I did throw in the Cyberverse Deluxe here. I really love this Cheetor. And though he has nothing in common with these guys other than he's Cheetor. But unlike, you know, the Studio Series one, he looks like Cheetor. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, he's deluxe size, <laughs> right? Um, he's obviously the same size as the Kingdom. They share a mold. That's... And then, of course, you know, they're both inspired by the classic vintage Cheetor here. Other than that, they really don't have anything in common. But yeah, these guys are pretty much the same height. Uh, they're the same mold. Uh, he does a couple things better and a couple things worse. Um, I think when you... Oh, I forgot this part. When you transform this guy, when you transform the Kingdom slash Netflix version into uh, Cheetah mode, this this version does a lot better of hiding um, the arm kibble, and he has better articulation in Cheetah mode because he could actually, you know, move the paws here. Uh, this guy, while he doesn't manage the kibble better as far as the arms in Cheetah mode, he does manage the transformation, in my opinion, in the legs a lot better than this version, than the Kingdom slash Netflix version. Other than that, articulation-wise, this guy is a lot more articulated in his robot mode than the Kingdom slash Netflix version. Okay, so final thoughts on the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Transformers Rise of the Beast Jungle Mission Deluxe Cheetor. Man, that was a mouthful. <laughs> I think this is a real strong representation of a modern take on Cheetor. Uh, does a bunch of things a lot better than the previous Cheetor and does a bunch of things that suck compared to the previous Cheetor. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely give them two thumbs up. Thank you for watching my video. Hit that like button and subscribe my friends and remember no matter what time of day, no matter what time of night you are watching this, do me a favor and smile. Always smile. And I'll catch you guys later on another video.